Welcome back to Big Girl Hunters. I'm in Blakey's van, can mean only one thing. We're off to France, and well, actually, we're off to Belgium, but we've got to go to France first. You excited? Yeah, mate, yeah, buzzing for it. It's been a smooth journey so far, isn't it, really? Yeah, it's been all right. Yeah, he picked me up at four, we loaded the van last night, obviously coming down from Dorset, and yeah, we're off to Belgium. We haven't got a set place where we're going, so we've got a few different venues that we've been sort of given some, some uh, information on, so, we're going a little blind, we've got a few pins in that just to go check out, but I'm a little bit, I'm excited but anxious as well because I don't really know how it's going to play out. All I know is that we'll try and find some carp and catch them. Yeah, mate. Yeah. You buzzing for it? Mate, I can't wait. I can't wait. I've barely slept for about a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Bilgram and Blakey spe special road trip. We've been waiting for this for a long time. So we literally, we've got to the ferry, we're about to load in a, f in a few minutes and we'll get on. It's the first time I've been on a ferry for a while. We normally do the Euro Tunnel, but it was a bit cheaper on it, 200, yeah. 200 bar cheaper. Yeah, it makes sense for, for an hour's journey, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. So we, yeah. And at least we can get a breakfast because I'm absolutely starving. We've been listening to the tunes yeah, the whole full way. Yeah, breakfast, maybe a beer. Whereabouts, whereabouts in Belgium are we going? Not telling you. Not telling no, you. No, secret. Secret been, spots. We've been sworn to not saying too much by our mates, so. Who's given us a couple of hints, so yeah, that's, yeah, it. that's all you're getting. That's it. <laughs> secret secret squirrel Blakey. Um, yeah, fingers crossed we can get on some fish. The weather this week is not that good. Got just like I was fishing um, last weekend or last week at Coomberley where I had a 50 pound up bash, UK 50, bash! <laughs> uh, had to get that in there, but it was the same. Um, it's a little bit warmer um, in Belgium, but very, very high pressure, about as high as it gets, like 1,030 plus. Um, Northeasterly winds, uh, high pressure, not the one, but there is, like I say, a little bit of sun. So hopefully, I don't know anything about canal fishing. High pressure and sun might be the best conditions ever. I literally, I'm a fucking yeah. noddy in terms of like canal. I've done a lot of river fishing in the UK for barbell and that, but I haven't got a fucking clue about canals in in Europe. So it could be decent. Yeah, we just you don't never know. know. Never know. All I know is, if and we, we don't know what them, we're fishing for either. No, which is good. If I, all I know is, if we find them, we'll catch them. What's the target? The target is for the the target is a thirty pound plus Belgium carp, and you know whether that's from a lake or a canal or a river or whatever, um, and then our first canal carp yeah. between us. I think that's reasonable. You know, some of the spots that we're going to, um, obviously, I'm sure there'll be big fish in it. They're not known big fish spots, but I'm sure there'll, there'll be some bigger ones swimming. We just want to get a few bites, a few nice dark ones, yeah. some scaly ones, and just yeah. just see see what's there. Yeah, good food, a few bears. You can't. Right, so we're just about to load up, but once we're over the other side, we'll give you another update. Yeah, watch this space, because Belgium Cop, I'm coming for you. Yeah. How can I love somebody else if I can't love myself enough to know when it's time, time to let go? So we made it across then, yeah? Yeah, mate. On the way, on the way to the park lake. On the way to Belgium, got a bit of travelling to do yet, but... Yeah, not too far though, is it? Nah, not too far yet. Uh, just need to get them, one of them flans down us. Yeah, that's it, stop off, nice get coffee, some coffee, mate. Oh, mint. You ready to catch those big, dark Belgian bangers? Yeah. How can I love Dropping on some business, boy! If I can't love myself enough to know when it's time Right, this one's going to go out there. Nice little rig. It's a little snowman rig. Live system snowman. I've wrapped it in paste. It's got a little PVA thing of uh, boilies on there. And yeah, get it out there. Hopefully any of them canal carp that are around there, I'll nail them. Fingers crossed. Buzzing to get this rod out. Let's get it on. Well, good evening. The rods are finally out, we're settled. It's been a really eventful day. The park lake that we went, that we went to, we were really buzzing for it. It's sort of our number one place. We got there and um, we just walked, I've seen like a few little shallow spots in the edge, really nice clear water. And as we were walking around the corner, what do we see? A barrage of Nash Titans. Um, and yeah, it was Ramo with English, with English lads. I think there was five people on. My heart absolutely sunk. It was that gut feeling the whole time we were bombing there. Oh, please not be anyone, please not be anyone there. 
Um, so we decided to, there was maybe one little small bay that, that was still fishable, but we just didn't fancy it. So we decided to mooch off and have a look around some of the canal spots. We settled on this, on this canal, a really interesting spot. There's, it's like real urban, there's just like houses everywhere. We've seen a couple flop out. I don't know if there's many fish in here. I don't know if there's any big ones, but there's certainly some carp in here. I don't know how often it gets fished. We have met a local lad. Um, I gave him some hooks. <laughs> and then um, Blakey gave him some boilies to try. And he's given us some spots to try tomorrow as well. Managed to find a, cu a couple of spots. I'm fishing one sort of at the back margin near like a parking meter. And then one just literally down on the edge where I've seen some fizzing. So it's very soft. Um, it's about six, seven foot all over and it just shelves off in, in the edge where it's a bit firmer um, to about six, six and a half foot. So it's only a gentle shelf, um, but it, there's definitely, definitely is a shelf. Blakey's fishing one out in the open and then one down to the edge as well. So we're covering mo most grounds. First night sort of didn't go to plan, but we've got some more information. We had a pizza, we've had a few beers, some custard tarts. It's been banging first day. Now it's just time to hopefully get some carp. The plan is tomorrow get up in the morning hopefully catch one through the night but if not and get up watch see if we can find anything and then we're gonna head off to another spot um, fish for a couple of hours and then bait up then go to the supermarket then um, potentially go back to the park lake um, for the afternoon because I think some of the English lads are going off somewhere else probably couldn't come into here <laughs> probably rotating um, but fuck knows but that's been that's been the first day it's been really interesting meeting some of the locals um, and some of the English lads that have fished here as well, um, or are fishing here. So you come all the way to Belgium to get away from English people, and then when you, you turn up to a lake full of English people, not ideal, but we've got plenty of time. That park lake is in the back of my mind, and hopefully we can uh, find some carp tomorrow in some of the other canal spots, and hopefully catch one. But for now, it's good night, and uh, fingers crossed, I'll get my first Belgian carp tonight. Whoa, whoa, be careful, mate. It's fucking fighting strong. I can see it boiling down there. Mate, it's literally just gone dark, mate. Fucking Blakey's had a churn. We've been getting liners for the last half hour and it's fucking churned off, mate. I can't believe it. Mate, Blakey's in with, into off, a fucking yeah. absolute churner on the first night. Yeah, absolutely... That was a melter. First one, mate. It's from Canal. Upper double. Yeah. Well, I wasn't expecting that, were we? Nah, you were just falling asleep <laughs> and it ripped just off. Northern off, and it melted. Well, let's get her back. Yeah, let's get her back. It's going to be a beautiful. Oh. Uh, there we go. My first one from Belgium. I nailed the target on the first fish. Thirty-two pound from a canal. Urban Canal, right in Belgium. Absolutely buzzing with this one. On the live system, Snowman, your know, NS1 pop up at the top. Ooh, absolutely beat me up, didn't it, Blakey? Yeah. Battered me. It's really, really strong fish, but I want to get this one back. Absolutely buzzing. It's set the tone for the rest of the trip. Fish of a lifetime, this. 30 pounder from a canal. Buzzing. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> We've all packed up, Bakey. What are we going to do? Yeah, we're basically just going to stick a bit of bait in on a few of the spots that we've had a few fish on and yeah. uh, go get some grub. Yeah. yeah, that's go it. Look go look at a few more spots down the river. Go to the supermarket. Go to the supermarket. We've, we found out it's bank holiday here as well, so all yeah, the shops are going to be closed tomorrow. Bit. It's carnage, so yeah, stick a few bits, prime a few spots basically for later on in the week. Jump on a few of the other spots, hit a little lake up today. Bash. Nice. Here we go, let's have a look. He's got the rod, he's got the hutchie. On the hutchie, boy. Let's have a look what you got. Got in there. What have we got in there? We have got the infusion bait. Tigers. Tigers from Marcus at CP UK. The maze. And we've got a bit of pellet, the hutchie pellet. Looking good. We're saying the hutchie show then, mate. It's all about the moors, bro. Well, we'll see you at the end of the week, boy. <laughs> I've got my bucket down there. Right, let's go bait up. Right, so we're coming into the second evening now, and we ended up on another canal stretch, didn't we? Yeah. 
completely different one. Wasn't the, I don't know if it was plan A, plan B, plan C, I don't know what plan it is at this point. I think we're on about D, plan F, aren't we? D or F. <laughs> so basically, we went down to the park lake and it's still stitched with a load of English uh, anglers, so we decided to go mooch around some spots. We had a little tickle at this one spot, which we found out had a few yeah. carp in it, didn't we? Including yeah. one, one decent one. Yeah, the wind was banging into that side, wasn't it? So yeah. it seemed wrong to not put a rod in for a few hours. But. Yeah, and then we obviously dropped some bait on there, as you do, and then came came off looking for some more spots, and we've decided to, to come on here. This is one of the, the biggest stretches of canals, so really long, so the fish could be anywhere, but there's it's, uh, some really nice ones in this one, so yeah. fingers crossed. We haven't, well, we've seen a, a, a moid on the surface, apart from that, it's the only thing to go yeah. on. We, we let Marcus know about that one. Yeah, definitely. He likes a moid goldie, yeah. doesn't he? He likes a nice bright orange one. <laughs> and I'm not talking about pop-ups, we chabby. <laughs> um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to fish on here for the night, see what's what. Hopefully bag an absolute banger, but and then drop onto the park lake when everyone's yeah, you know, gone. Gone to work. Hopefully, yeah. About time people started oh, going gosh. to work. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, we still haven't seen many anglers. No. It's been empty, isn't it, really? Yeah. But well, certainly on the canals it has. Not on the lakes. Yeah, the lakes seem pretty stitched. But I'm pretty shattered. I, I, I got, yeah. I reckon, le less than half an hour sleep last night because I was awoken by carp, your carp, my carp, and a grass carp, which I haven't even mentioned about a quarter, but literally about a £40 grass carp. I, yeah. I didn't even film it because I'm not a big fan of grass carp and they're, they're shit and I don't like them. <laughs> I'd, rather catch, I'd rather catch a bream or a chub. Oh, I would have been happy with that. That was a big one. Yeah. But you've had bad experiences, haven't you? Yeah, caught too many of them. Too, and they've destroyed nets and such, so not the one for me. But for now, as, as the sun sets, I'm going to chill out, yeah. have a couple of Belgian beers and uh, get and some another, kit. And another 10,000 calories. <laughs> a bit of a miserable one this morning as you can see my, f my face looks a bit off because I've been absolutely nailed by mozzies all night isn't it? Yeah. look at my eyes cool. <laughs> I bit you on the nose as well oh, that's just like it's, that anyway it's massive <laughs> <laughs> dickhead <laughs> um, but unfortunately nothing to report you, uh, you had a churner but yeah. there was nothing on the end uh, I could I could hear the real <coughs> it's one of them bites that was so aggressive I heard the fucking real ripping zzz, before and then before yeah. the alarm kicked off it was then, a weird one wasn't it mm, Weird one, wanted but yeah. Then a bream straight after, which is never you, good. Yeah, you put the and then you put the rod out, like and what it was out for like five minutes, if that, and then and then it yeah bream straight away. But yeah, off to check another spot today, aren't we? Yeah. A little daytime spot, and then try and try and get somewhere for a few days. I think. Yeah, definitely. I think. Just set then. We're gonna. Um, hopefully locate a, a swimming pool where we can get get access to <laughs> yeah. a shower. It's been a couple of days. We need a shower, you know. Fresh boxes, fresh shower, all, all, all looking Oof. all good, all ready to dance. Another and, eight thousand calories today as well. Yeah, that's it. A few more custard snacks, yeah. a few more beers, some chocolate, bash, um, some bread, and then um, we yeah, hopefully get to get down to this new spot. And we've got a spot that's a bit more in town that we want to look at. Um, maybe drop some bait in there, and then finally get to this park lake. Fingers crossed that the, you know those English have gone home and it's, yeah. it isn't full of, of local anglers now and we can get actually get on the yeah, fish. Bank, bank holiday's over now, isn't it? So hopefully we have it to ourselves. That'd be Parker. Yeah, well, it's bank holiday Monday today, isn't it? Yeah, so, so hopefully be going home, won't they? I've just had an antihistamine to try and... <laughs> the swelling hopefully is starting to go down. I don't know if you can see it in this video, but I'll do some close-ups in a sec. But my <laughs> nose all around here is swollen and my eyes here are swollen. Fucking itching! I got hammered, mate. Absolutely hammered by mozzies. Blakey's sitting there, living the dream, but they just seem to love me. Don't know what it is. They must. They just know no class. I'm they? impenetrable. No, they're impenetrable. I'm more like you're bitter and sour. <laughs> <laughs> but for now, it's going to finish this tea. Hopefully, one will rip off. Um, I'm not sure if we'll come back to this spot. It's one of the main spots. It's, yeah. a, it's sort of pretty tricky. This one, but there is yeah. the prizes are in it. Nice big. I dark think this ones. is more of a yeah, more of a, a bait and wait or get on and move up and down this isn't a drop in for a night spot is it no, really no. But, but you never know you tested our luck yeah you've got to be able to win it haven't you so yeah let's uh, get on with it 
Gosh. Right, so we're here. We're finally at the Park Lake and we've had the right result. We've just come up. We were like, oh, it's a disaster. There's two people fishing here, two local lads who were just doing a 24, weren't they? Yeah. And um, they're going in an hour, so absolute great result. We've been waiting on here. This will be the third time we've dropped on here to try, yeah. and, uh, to try and get on this lake. So finally, it looks like we're going to have to do the old uh, linear and get the bucket in behind. Yeah. Get, we're going to get our gear loaded and jump in straight behind them yeah, just to make ruthless. sure. Ruthless. Yeah. Get in there. Because you know that there's going to be some more English turning up yeah. or some local lads turning up for a quick overnighter. We didn't realise. We thought this park lake. When you found this park lake on a, on Google Maps, didn't it? Before yeah, yeah. we knew there was any carp in it at all or any fish. Yeah. Um, and we just thought it was just going to be a stealthy little drop in. No one yeah. would yeah, we've, we've, we've done a bit of digging, haven't we? And just found a few pictures of nice fish and thought we'd do it on the whim, really, take a punt. What's even better is, mate has just had a fish. Um, he's absolutely buzzing with his photos. So we've seen one, I've got the carp buzz. What are you going to do? What's the plan? So when we get out there, when they go, what are you going to do? You're going to go out on the boat, we get the drone up, what should we do? What's your, yeah. what are you going to do? I think we should get the drone up, first things first. See what's what? Yeah, before we, before we draw sides. Well, it was well, cold you, last night, but the sun's out, and yeah. I think they're going to be out on that surface. Yeah, we'll be able to find them. Yeah. We've got to find them, and then we'll do a draw. But I think you know which side you want. And, oh, and it, what side do you reckon yeah, I want? Yeah. I know what side you want, and you can have it, because otherwise you're going to be a miserable... <laughs> yeah, you're going to be miserable anyway for the rest of the fucking week, so... <laughs> uh, you can have that. And, I, and, I'll, and I'll sit on No Fish Bay for the rest of the week. No, I'm yeah. sure. <laughs> no, that's the big, that's the big girl bay. That is. Yeah, but now I, I just think maybe get the boat out to bait a few spots if we have to. But I think I think English style fishing rather than the bait boats. I think that'll just do its best. But yeah, because we've noticed every time we've come here, even the English lads and all the Belgium lads, they've. They were all fishing with the, the most high-tech 80, 80, RT4s yeah. and some bait boats, European bait boats oh, I've never even seen before with cameras on them. What's that bait boat we, we saw earlier on? It was about a metre and a half long. It has a fucking I webcam, it. It has like a webcam on the well, front. I couldn't. You could have. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone you talk to, it's like, oh yeah, you fi fish to the far margin and you can see them fishing tight lines to the far margin. But I've got a feeling, I mean, we've already seen a few on the surface without putting a drone out yeah. that, you know, fishing English style, few spawns, spread a bait with the old um, yeah. oily stick. You know, fishing stealthy slack lines, you yeah. know, I think we'll be able to catch them. But we'll see how things go. But for now, we need to go get our gear, load it up, jump in behind these lads, and fingers crossed we can finally get in the swims. What's the target, though, for this one? Well, the target for the trip was a 30, wasn't it? But we've had we one from the, the canal. Night. So, I reckon... Bash. 30 from the lake, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Brace of 30s. Brace of 30s. And That'd be it. Yeah, hopefully a few other bites. It's fishing hard, though, isn't it? We've been told by everyone that this lake is rock hard, but... I don't know. I've just got a feeling we'll be able to wink the odd one out, yeah. but you never know. Always do. Stranger them. things, you know. I'm sure we'll get through here for a few days. We don't know what we're going to do. We might be here for two days. We might be here for the rest of the week. We'll just see how things... I must admit, it's really gin clear and I really like the look of it. So lake fishing is my jam and I'm ready to go. I can't wait. And as you can see, the antihistamines kicked in and my face is <laughs> deflated because I, I didn't realise how fucked I was until I got up and started walking around I could barely even see the mozzies absolutely battered me but um, for now let's get the gear let's get on these fish and hopefully we can catch one Sneaking up on me like this. <laughs> I've been watching you get ready, mate. The excitement. I'm all prepped, mate. I'm all ready to go. I was just coming over to see what you're up to. You got, you found. I, I saw you out in the boat. Yeah. I could see. I could see what you you're up to. I could see you leading around, and you found some spots, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I found a little. Uh, yeah, a slightly raised bit in, in the lake. Well, it's a deep lake. So what's it? What's about five meters in we front thought, of me. We thought Park Lake. Yeah. Was gonna be shallow. Yeah. It's like. In some spots, 25 foot. Sometimes yeah. it's some places deeper. But um, yeah. I found a few shallower spots. Most of, it's, most of it's six six meters in front of me. Yeah, Man. Well, yeah. six meters. Look at that bosh, by the way. Bah. <laughs> oh, right over Bashir. my spot. Oh, 
Um, about five, six meters in front of me, and I've just found a spot that's about four, four and three quarters, just a slightly raised spot. So nice firm drops. I know it's quite silt solid. Out. Yeah, yeah I found solid, mostly think, really soggy silt out there, but yeah. I've, I've managed to find some sandy humps. Yeah, I think it's sandy. Yeah, yeah. rather than it's not gravel, it's like sand. So yeah, I think the problem with my swim, I haven't got any room to cast. Really, it's all side cast. So. I don't want to be going out of the boat putting rigs out. I'm just going to go out in the boat once, put, put a bit of bait out, and then it is going to be side casting solid bags. I think it's just going to be the side casting solid bag. Side that cast takes, solid that bag. takes some skill right there. Only you would be able to pull that one off. Yeah, yeah. Side casting solid bags, and uh, hopefully nab one, mate. Yeah, that's it. Hopefully nab There's one. been plenty about in there. Yeah. There's some action on the snake, isn't there? Yeah. Boshing everywhere. Yeah, that's it. I, I must admit, I'm pretty excited now. I've seen it on what I've seen on the drone. I've seen the big girl. The big girl was over my spot. But they, to be fair, they've, they've been fished all over. They were they were all over me and all over Blake. And so, there's only one more thing to do. Get the buds out. Over there look as well, look. Oh, yeah, shit. Nice. Right, leave me alone. I want to get ready. See, it's a bit of a doom and gloom on my face this morning. I had fish all over me all last night in short and I was fishing long. Unfortunately, no fish for me. Blakey had an absolute banger a couple of hours ago. We sacked her up ready for filming. Jet black banger. It looks a mid to upper 20, could be a scrape of 30. It's really, really long, like jet black, like why we've come to this park lake. I was blown away actually by the fish and that was at night. So it's literally, the light is just coming up now. So I thought, do a quick piece to camera. I managed to get in the swim that I wanted really and there was fish all over me to the right, all you know, fishing fishing long and the lads who were in here before you would have seen he, he caught one, uh, he was fishing tight to a snag and he was catching them um, in, in the morning. I was really really happy, got my rod sorted out, fishing one long, it's the, basically at the back there's a beach that sort of shelves up to about three foot and then it drops off and just sort of between there, I think I was about 90 yards out. Um, nice and firm. It's very silty out there because it's very, very, very deep. We come to a park lake and we thought it was going to be, in my mind, most of the park lakes I've fished have been, <laughs> have been shallow, except for one or two, but predominantly they are shallow. This one, that this is not the case at all. It's really, really deep and I'm fishing out there about 18 foot. It's a little bit shallower, much firmer, a bit more of a sandy drop rather than the silty drop. So I um, went out there and bait, I baited up. I went around the other end and baited up heavily, two, three um, kilo of boilies. I've not seen a single fish on that and that rod kept me awake all night with liners so I eventually reeled it in um, about 20 minutes ago and put put it in close where the fish have been showing and then my right hand rod is fished tight to some, to some snags that I was watching watching them in all yesterday again on the drone cruising in, around I'm a bit like I had so many fish over me but it just shows you when when finding fish on the drone sometimes um, that no not always going to stay there but I must admit I'm surprised it was Blakey that got a bite but I think I've started already, been here for one night, I think I'm starting to clock the patterns. You know, they obviously are sunbathing over in, in, near the snags and, that, and then they come over to the, to the deeper water and come in short and, and feed because there's been a lot of fizzing. So I I mean, it could just rip off at any moment, but I'm fairly certain I've blown my chances for today and I'll have to reset. I'm going to find two new spots. Um, sure, I, I've sort of got a memory in, in my mind of where they've been showing. I mean, look, one's just shown out there. Bosh fizzing as well pluming up where they're showing it's literally like 22 foot and it's uh, very silty and I just don't think it's going to be the one um, but if they're showing there and they're feeding there they, you know they live in this deep lake it's just normal for them so all the all the local anglers were like no you cannot fish in the deep you cannot fish close in every, every when we when we're walking around even the other English lads that we saw here everyone's fishing long with bait boats and um, fishing very sort of European style but I'm gonna put them in close get some boilie over them, a few pop-ups, uh, and then um, try and fish them a bit more English style and see if I can trip them up. Um, but for now, I'm just gonna finish this tea, get Blakey's banger out, and uh, hopefully I can get some positivity for the day.
Yeah, there we go. Two ounces over 24, beat me up. These fish fight like stink, but I'll let it go. The lighting's a bit dodgy, so it's probably a bit dark, but we do our best. Off she goes. Fish number two for me, 22, just over 22. These Belgian Park Lake Commons are absolute belters. They really beat you up. This one was on the old uh, acid pear pop-up. <laughs> and get on the moors. But yeah, nice bright orange one over a load of boily on a new spot I found. Real nice firm spot out in the deep amongst loads of silt. And she ripped off shortly after putting a couple of kilos out. So it shot bait all over us when we, when we got it out. But yeah, let's get it back. Hopefully there's more to come. Let's see if I can get one of them 30s. Little beauty. She's angry. Yeah. Number two for the Blakey. We're on a Desmond now, aren't we? Two two, yeah, mate. Two all. They are shitting out tigers, aren't they? Yeah. Nutty bait. <laughs> <laughs> they love it, mate. Get on the park, late bangers. Get on the koi car. <laughs> oh. Bla Blakey loves a moid, don't you? Yeah. So clear. First mirror of the trip. This was a, the first of a, a double take. Unfortunately, I lost the second one. Yeah. Say first mirror of the trip. Just over 20 pounds, nice and dark. And these, I'm loving these Belgian Park Lake fish. Hopefully I can bag one of the big ones. I'm after a 30 or maybe even a cheeky 40, but we'll see, I don't think there's many 40s in here, maybe one or two, but we'll see. Stranger things have happened. All right, let's get some shots and get her back. I well, just had two bites, really nice 20 pound dark mirror. And the other one, unfortunately, we're just getting it out of the net and it ripped off. It was almost a, a double take and unfortunately that one got away. Um, it's the first one we've lost this trip, uh, so yeah, a bit gutting about that, but I'm sure we'll catch some more. Before I get them rods out, a few more spawns over the top, see if we can get those bites going. After a hectic first day with four fish being caught, it was time to chill out. Rods are out, the spots were baited, and it was time for a cheeky kebab and a beer. Well, another one. This is a fish number four, I believe, maybe five. And um, sort of starting to lose count now. It's nice, it's starting to get the spots rocking out in the deep water. Beautiful one, nice uh, dark colours, some nice orange tones to it, but I'll get some shots and we'll get it back. Starting to unlock the code. Hopefully the big black one ain't far away. This is the rig I've been using that's been doing me pretty much all the fish. I've been using the odd solid bag, casting at showers during the night, but this is what I've been uh, using. It's been absolutely nailing them on the old white pop-up. I've tried all sorts of colours, but it seems to be the white that's been doing the business. I guess it's because it's a, you know, a public lake, people throwing bread in there. It's very deep, very clear, and obviously they see that white, but essentially it's a yeah, stiff hinge rig with a big fluorocarbon boom, lots of putty on there. I think that boom's about 12, maybe 13 or even 14 inches. Been messing around with the 
making them longer and longer and longer. And I think with that a big bit of fluorocarbon, it's so clear, I think that just really helps. That hook bait is a size 12 Northern Special. This one's been in the water and it still stinks pumping out that sweet smell. But you can see under here, I'll show you in a sec on a close up, but I cork that. With, you probably get away with it maybe four or five hours with a 12 mil. It's only a size six hook, so it will pop it up. But just when you're fishing the trod, it has to be super buoyant. So I always, even if I'm using a 15 mil or even 18 mil pop up with the trod, I always cork it just in case. That was a nice trod hook. I've got the PB trod material there. And yeah, it's been absolutely nailing them. Sick little rig. Great for spring when you're casting at showers or boily fishing. Get on it. Well, good morning. Absolutely crazy night last night. The most carpious night going, really. Low pressure, big rains, big thunderstorms, full moon, fish lopping out everywhere. Absolute belting. I really thought I was going to catch uh, the big one. And uh, just after, I think it was about three o'clock, my rod ripped off. Um, half an hour battle, I was I literally, in my head, I was like, this is the big one, this is the big one. It felt fairly heavy all the way. It was tearing me a new one. It ended up being a low 20 mirror. Can't believe it. I generally thought it was going to be the big one. Although Blakey this morning has just nailed a, uh, a really, really nice 30 pound common. Well, it's my last day today. And uh, I've got a stag to go to. I'm going to leave Bill down there and uh, finish off with a Nice 30 pounder. 30 pound banger, that's got to be the fish of the trip. Yeah. Absolute that's beautiful fish. Water. I've got two more nights left. You know, the full moon will be today, so I hear the bigger nights to come out on the May full moon, so stranger things have happened. I've been known to winkle out a, a few chunks in the past, so <laughs> starting to feel it now. Really, really tired. It's uh, been a bit of a weird trip, lots of highs and, and lows. Unfortunately, um, Yesterday my granddad passed away, he's been pretty poorly for a while. I must admit I did think that he was going to hold out a little bit longer. I thought it might be a couple of months yet, but unfortunately he did die. He was a big character and a very important influence in my life. My first ever sort of serious fishing campaigns, uh, he was taking me to the lake because I couldn't drive at the time, he was taking me back and forth. He showed me what, the, what, what this dark place we call the world it really is about. Um, for better and for worse, I think a lot of my uh, good and bad habits have come from him. So, really, really sad. I've been sort of up all night crying, to be honest. It's it's not nice. It's a bit weird when you're fishing and things like that because you're just stuck. It's right when I catch loads of fish, when I'm talking to Blakey, or when some of the, the local lads come and have a chat, it's alright. But as soon as they go, I'm just sort of stuck in my bivvy at night by myself. I'm just, yeah, my, your brain starts ticking away and you just get really sad. Um, so, some people find it really therapeutic to get away and fish when, you, when you're going through things like that but personally it just it makes me just sit in my head and just think about stuff so not, not the one for me. He'd want me to be positive and he'd want me to hunt out that big common so I'm going to try and be positive, try and put it to, to one side until we get back home, try and enjoy the last few days because it's been a mega mega trip. I absolutely love this lake, it's been really fun looking at all the different canals, getting to meet people, learning about other little spots that we can potentially try. Fingers crossed we can have a few more before the trip ends. We can go home with smiles on our face. See you in a bit. She's right under that tree, man. Come on. Come out, my baby. My baby girl, yes. She's out. A little beauty. Oh. Size? Size? Cornish. <laughs> Nasty. It's certainly not the 20 kilo we're after. Not having that, then. Huh? Lovely dark one, there. So bloody strong. They're just going around, aren't they? Oh, she's lovely, mate. Another one on the video. <laughs> Wait, did you see its mouth? I don't even know how many I'm on now, but 
I said with that full moon I was just thought it was destined last night I was going to catch the big girl but this one came along instead fingers crossed we will eventually get her but you never know stranger things have happened but can't complain when they look like this a really nice park lake banger I'll get her back and now we'll just keep trucking on Blakey's back now so hopefully one more night sometimes that magic it waits to reveal itself on the final night let's hope that's the case this time Right, I thought this was a really good time to speak about the bait I've been using on this session. I've got a variety of baits, nothing too complex because we didn't know where we were going to be. Obviously we've done a bit of canal fishing, we fished various canals and then we've ended up on this park lake for a few days. But starting off with uh, this particle mix, essentially in here, I'll, I'll do it a close up as well. We've got some gloopy tigers and some maize and we've been crushing up the tigers with the crusher tool as well. I've got this from Carp Particles UK and essentially I prepped them before with the maize. Um, I got it in a big 25 litre um, bucket put about three kilo of uh, Himalayan rock salt in it, filled it up with water and obviously that's kept it fresh but the tigers had three in another bucket, put loads of boiling water on it just so it was covered and I put three kilos of um, black sugar and it all ferments and goes all syrupy and sugary and the carp absolutely love it, it helps them keep them fresh as well, they're still fresh now so it's a really good tip and we've just, we've just kept the buckets in the van and then going back to the bait shelf in the van and just topping up. And then moving on to, to the other baits, like I say fairly simple. I bought two different boilies with me. This one, 18mm life system. I thought, you know, with canals and stuff like that, park lakes and public lakes, the, the life system super digestible. It washes out really nice and, and light. And to be fair, let's face it, there's no carp that don't, that don't munch it. So I decided to bring that one in 18mm. And then I've got the new test bait as well from season one, the 15mm. So that's a nice spicy number. Um, and yeah, they've been ripping it up. And then the final thing I've just been adding is just some 6mm bloodworm pellet, again from CC Moore. I've been using either a throwing stick or a catapult to put the boilies out or a spawn to put out the rest of it. We were baiting up with the boat, but we put that away now. Yeah, that's the bait I've been using, keeping things pretty simple. Wanted bait to cover vast scenarios and venues, and I think we managed to achieve that. Go on a bit, who? Final night. about to pop down to the kebab shop and the old right hand churned off, didn't she? Nathan's gonna have to go now. No, nah, not a chance. What's the time anyway? Kebab o'clock. Huh? Kebab o'clock. Had this one about 20 minutes ago. Had to uh, rest her up because it was a big old battle. What an absolute beauty. Mid 20 this one. We thought it was gonna go 30 because of the gut on it, but it hasn't quite got the length. The colours on this fish are on Believable. Just look at it. Look at that. <laughs> I'm real fish. I'll spin around so you get a look at the other side. And these fish that we keep catching. We've got this a lot. This is the last night banger. Just keep. I mean, look at it. Just keep getting better and better and better. Some of the most beautiful fish I've ever fished for. Oh. And Blakey just happened to stumble across this lake on Google Maps because he was coming here for a, a stag do. Sometimes when you luck's in, you luck's in. Mate, what a fish. What a fish that is. What a place. What a place. We'll be back. Yeah. Hopefully the big girl will be up tonight. And we met some cool people, man, as well. Yeah, met some, we? I reckon friends for life, I reckon. Yeah. There she is. Go on, Bill. Send her home. Send her home, mate. She's a jetty. She's ready to go. After slipping back that banger, both myself and Blakey got prepped for the final night. Just as I got my rods out, the local swimmers arrived and the rain set in. It just felt right. As I was just about to go to bed, I felt to myself, surely one of them big girls has got to show up. Surely. There you go. Oh, last night, 
and this is melted off. This is a trip for me. Thirty-six pound, on it, Bill? Yeah, thirty-six. Yeah. Th thirty-six and a half. Absolute belter. Wow. Jet blacker. What a trip, eh? Well, just packing up. Literally, we need to get going. But it's gone off, mate. Free fish. Built. Free fish in about five minutes. <laughs> I, had, I had a double take, and you had one. I've had this one. Nuts. Fucking absolutely nuts. Kicking off this on the final morning as it always does. Love it. I think if we'd have stayed a bit longer, we'd have had it off. We'd have had the big girl, wouldn't we? Yeah, but you know we can't be greedy. We've been lucky, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. What a trip. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now I've got it. Whoa! Whoa! Believe it. Literally, last rod in the water. Take. Bill's had a triple take. I've had a fish. Yeah. Carnage. Go on, Bill. Let's have a little look round for the camera, Bill. Oh, yeah. Right, I can't believe it. Final fish, literally, I had a double take. Blakey had one, we had three fish in like literally like 10 minutes. And then I had this rod just in the water and it ripped off with the biggest of the trip for me. Absolute belter real nice dark one as well so Belgium has been very kind to us now we're off the back to England and uh, we'll get her back look how fat it is on the back mate chunk Welcome to Big Girl Hunters. My name's <laughs> Billy Brickle and this is Eurobanks. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Oh, look at the state of it. 